and welcome to another book versus movie video. Um, on Thursday night I went to see Five Feet Apart. If you have seen my movie reviews video already this week you will have seen some of my thoughts on the movie. I will leave that linked up there if you would like to hear my thoughts on it. As I say it was a very quiet screening but I wanted to see this movie as soon as I could so I could make this book versus movie for you. This is actually the second time I made it. I've made it already and then my phone went and I had to get a new phone and I lost it in the process. So my thoughts should be slightly more coherent in this one. This is one of those films that sticks very, very closely to the book. I need to check and see if the authors of the book also wrote the script for the movie because the dialogue and the events of the book seem to be almost word uh, of the film, sorry, it seemed to be almost word for word the same as the book. You can hear the characters saying the dialogue that you have read in the page of the book. I finished listening to the audiobook of this book on Monday and then saw the film on the Thursday. So the dialogue especially was really fresh in my mind. Um, so I would say on the whole, the book and the movie are very, very similar. I did not cry listening to the audiobook. That might be because it was an audiobook and not a physical book that I read. I do find that I cry more with physical books than with audiobooks, but that's a video for another day. Um, however, I did cry at the film. I cried at the film three times, even though I knew that events were going to happen, it still made me cry. So definitely, if you're thinking of seeing it, take tissues. Obviously, if you read the book, you will be spoiled for a lot of the main events in the movie. Um, and vice versa, if you've seen the movie, you'll be spoiled for events in the book. So it's up to you, if you're thinking of doing both, which way round you would do them. I enjoyed doing the audio and then the movie. I think the audio was done with two different voice actors, so it, made it, it did make it feel slightly more alive than I think if I'd read it on the page. Um, one of the big similarities I found, I had not seen the full trailer. When I'm in the movie theater, I tend to be listening to an audio book whilst watching the trailers. So I don't really ever watch the trailers. So I'd managed to avoid seeing the trailer because I didn't want that to mar my judgment of the book and um, create pictures of characters in my head. However, in my head, the character of Barb that I created was just the same as the character of Barb that I saw on the screen, which is a little bit spooky. I was like, did I subconsciously see the trailer? I'm not sure. Um, but they got they got the, the sort of general feel of the characters really quite similar. The only one that felt quite different to the way I pictured him in my head and the way he appeared on the screen was Poe. I think in my head, I, maybe this is just me being a lazy reader, but he was more similar looking to Will um, and in the film, he looks quite different to Will. Um, but I think he came alive slightly more in the film for me. In the book, I was like, oh, you know, he's just the friend. He's there and, you know, he's kind of like the boy next door, literally, kind of thing. Whereas in the film, I felt like he was a, a portrayed as a much more pivotal character. The one major difference for me between the book and the film is that at the end of the book, there is a an epilogue of sorts. There is a final chapter and it is a little way in the future. I think it's something like six months in the future. And we get to see what's going on six months in the future. Again, always no spoilers. And as the kind of main part of the film tied up, I sort of, you know, continue to sit comfortably and wait for that epilogue scene. And then the credits rolled. So the epilogue that is in the book is not in the film. So if you want to find out what's going on six months later, I suggest you read the book because you're not going to get to know in the film. Um, that was quite jarring at the end of the film because I was ready for that extra scene and then it never appeared so it was a bit like oh oh I'm getting up to leave um yeah but it didn't affect my overall enjoyment of the film it was quite jarring but it didn't affect my overall enjoyment of the film and that is the one major difference between the book and the movie so on the whole it's very very similar it I 
I'm sure that the writers of the book had some impact on the script because they use the dialogue basically word for word. The characters are great. The film made me cry more than the book. And there's just that one epilogue chapter missing from the end of the film that you do have in the book. So yeah, five feet apart, book versus movie. There's my thoughts. As always, if you have any specific movies or books you would like me to read and watch and make a video about for you here, leave me a comment below or if there's a current movie in the cinema that you would like to hear my thoughts on that I haven't covered in my Sunday movie reviews let me know and I will head out to the cinema right away and go and watch that and bring you my thoughts next Sunday please make sure you are subscribed so that my next bookish video lands in your subscription feed and or my next movie reviews video give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you with another video soon bye